Hey everyone, hey brothers and sisters in Christ. Someone left a comment this morning linking a Harry Styles video that talks about the times we're in, the end times. And like all famous people, celebrities in this world, they are sold out to Satan. Here's Harry Styles doing one-eye symbolism. He does one-eye symbolism there and there. He does the Osiris Risen Freemason pose. Disney programming. Sub Rosa covering an eye with a rose. I've seen this move many times. Putting on women's makeup, winking for one eye symbolism, one eye symbolism. He's hiding that hand like a Freemason. And he supports the LGBT XY LMNP. Another One Direction member, Zane Malik. He covers one eye for the Eye of Horus symbolism. He's got one eye there. Another very clear one eye symbolism. The Vow of Silence. And the pretty classic three sixes, the sign of success in this world over one eye. Another member of One Direction, Niall Horan doing the vow of silence with the other members of One Direction there. Keeping the secret. That's not a secret anymore. Wouldn't you know he's doing the devil horns and sticking out his tongue. Have we seen this move enough in the world? It's like every single one of them does it many, many times. And the world goes, it's because the rock and roll, right? Three sixes over both eyes. Three sixes over the eye here. The sign of success in this world, hey? Three sixes over his eye again there. One eye symbolism. One eye symbolism. Another member of One Direction, Liam Payne. Very clear one eye symbolism there. Blocking one eye and half his face has one eye revealed. The world goes, it's just the joke. There's no such thing as the Illuminati. The, the eyeball on the pyramid, what? That's not satanic. That's just whatever. And the last member that I found a photo of, Lewis Tomlinson, he's doing one eye symbolism. So we know this, brothers and sisters, but a lot of people do not know this. And a lot of people are like, I love, you know, I love entertainment. I love music and everything. And that's very normal. But we should realize in this world that Satan deceives us. Not a little bit, a whole lot. We need Jesus Christ to see through the deception. Please have faith in him today. God bless you.